Heavy clouds of smoke choking parts of Cottage Grove. Over a million acres on fire in Oregon. Impossible for local personnel to tackle alone. One of the biggest challenges across the board for us has been getting resources in. Ruthie Edwards is part of an out-of-state team called in to provide an extra hand on the Cottage Grove Lane 1 complex fire arriving on July 22nd. A Florida incident management team was here in the beginning and then we're a team from North Carolina and then we also have sort of, um, and they've embedded folks from Florida into our team. The North Carolina team has taken charge of everything, including strategy, tactics, and finances. They're expected to be here for two to three weeks. This was Edward's second trip to Oregon. She was called out here last year to help battle the bedrock fire. There's a, na a national database, and so teams all over the country will say that they're ready and rostered and available to come to a fire, and then any state or um, agency that needs help and needs a team can order us. There are over 750 wildland firefighting personnel that are staying at this fire camp. 93 personnel are from North Carolina and Florida. According to fire officials, it's all hands on deck during the daytime. There are currently no nightside crews. The Cottage Grove Lane 1 complex fire has almost tripled in size since the North Carolina team's arrival. David LaPearl, technical rescue team leader, says one firefighter has already been rescued and are now okay. He says the terrain proving to be challenging. So there's not the easiest access, a lot of roads haven't already been cut, so there's a lot of roads that were they're being cut, which means a lot of tree falling, felling, there's a lot of heavy machinery going on, and the train is very steep. The priority for resources has been on the north side of the Lane 1 fire, um, where we have some houses. Reporting in Cottage Grove, I'm Juliette Smith.